Okay, so hopefully you all were able to pick up your work um, today from the school. You were supposed to pick up your picture and the tracing paper and the blackboard. All of these three were together, so hopefully you have it. Now I'm just going to do a little guide as to how you begin your project. So basically what this will be is a scratch, scratch board project. So what you want to do first is set your board somewhere where you're not going to accidentally scratch it. You're going to trace your picture first with your tracing paper. Okay. So you just you know, place it on top. I've done a little bit of tracing like just to show you. You're just tracing kind of most of the outlines, the main, the main shapes. You're not really tracing all this little fur um, of the hairs okay you're only doing like the main the main shapes the eyes the nose okay don't do um the other individual hairs we're gonna do that with the scratch tool so then once you have traced it on your tracing paper the next step from here is to Flip your tracing paper over, and usually this works better if you have a white surface. You can kind of see some of the lines, but it's harder to see if you don't have a white surface. So you can simply just use the back of your picture to put your tracing paper on top, and then you can see it better because you're trying to add um, the pencil in both sides, so not just one side but both. The reason why is because when you when you are trying to transfer to the black paper, if you trace the animal just on one side like I did here and then you want to transfer it to the blackboard like this, you're not able to see anything. Okay. And also, that's one thing. And the other thing is that your animal is going to come uh, inverted. It's going to flip. You see how it's like this? And then when you flip it, the automatic comes, uh, it's like a mirror image. So make sure you are tracing both front and back of your tracing paper. Then you're going to, when you're done tracing all of the back, you're simply just going to place your paper onto your blackboard. If you have tape at home, go ahead and use tape to secure it. And then you're just going to go with your pencil and go over all the, the lines. And it will transfer um, a little bit. So let me see if I can show you. I've traced this, um, I've traced this one already. I've kind of like went ahead a little bit more and sh to show you what it will look like. So it is simply a um, scratch board where you're going to scratch your way and reveal some of the white or silver underneath it. Um, the tools, the tools that you are going to use is really anything that you have at home that you can find that has like a sharp pointy edge where you can scratch into it. If normally if we would be at school, I would be checking out the specific scratch tools, but due to the circumstances, um, we're stuck at home. So anything that you have, like little needles or push pens, or if you do have an exacto knife, um, even like paper clips, you just kind of use the edge of it and so these I will show you right here these will make show you will make little um scratches when you scratch into the blackboard okay. so it just depends what you have at home um like you saw this was the paper clip so it made a little bit more wider scratches 
if you have like things like the push pins it makes finer stretches so this is the one I would probably continue using for the tiger then again when you are scratching away you want to make sure you look at your picture so that you can see the direction of the brush um, and you try to copy it as much as you can okay so for this project you don't want to um, just scratch everything like let me see like right here this area that I did here you don't want to just do that it's gonna rip off the board and not gonna give you the same effect of the texture so make sure you are so this area here you can see from the tiger all of this area is mostly white you're not able to see that much of the texture so then you, you would do this area and you would scratch um, a lot more to appear more white and again this is just going to be little scratches at a time so you don't want to rush it you don't want to push too hard either it's not about how much pressure you put on it's just about how many scratches you do okay. and so you can see the difference from here to here how this appears a little more, more white because i scratched in a little bit more so hopefully you can all um, find something to scratch with and you can work on your project what i've done um, some of you so let me show you i've already like for most of most of you when you picked up your um your pictures they look somewhat like this and i've inverted all of these pictures okay so what it means is that um if your picture looks like this you're going to be scratching um, all the black areas, okay? So I've done this to help out, because um, most students, when I give this project out, and they look at a picture like this, um, because we're used to with pencil, we want to shade the black areas and, um, you know, the gray areas with the pencil and leave whatever is white, like the paper. But because we're working the opposite, like a lot of students tend to get confused. So I inverted these so that it helps you kind of probably follow more of like if you were using pencil. So for example, like areas like right here, if it's black, like pitch, pitch black, again, you're going to be scratching away a lot, a lot. So you pretend like this is a paper. And I'll show you here. If you want me to send you the... Um, normal like this is how the picture was at the beginning and so here you could see that whatever you scratch off will show from the blackboard so here see if you scratch all that black area as you're scratching in your blackboard when you scratch away it'll appear white like this okay so hopefully hopefully there's not a lot of confusion and again if you need extra help email me or um, ask me questions through the chat and hopefully we can all just work together